Hello, Gisada fam! Gisada nation! Kamusta kayo today? So, kita nyo naman, guys. Iba na ang aking setup for today. Nagsawa na ako doon sa counter, doon sa ilalim ng counter natin. Okay ba sa inyo itong bagong setup natin? Para lang maiba, di ba? And kasi today, we're gonna talk about something very serious. Well, for me, it is something serious kasi we are talking about money and investments today kasi we are just at the beginning of the year, of the year 2020. And I just really want for you guys to really have a goal this year. It can be investing in a condo, buying your own car, getting your dream job, graduating from college or high school. Iba-iba naman tayo, di ba? But anyway, I just really want to dwell on this topic because a lot of you guys have been asking me about this ever since I posted my condo tour. Ayan. So, pag-usapan natin yan kung bakit ba ako nag-move out. Like, what made me decide to move out of my house, of my parents' house, and just move and live by myself. Ayan. So, wag na natin patagalin pa and let's get right into the video. Okay, so ako, I'm in my late 20s na and I still live with my parents. Last year, 2019, nag-move out lang ako in about 3 months ago. So, very new pa lang sa akin tong living alone, condo living. Start ako early 2018, naghanap na ako ng condo. Sabi ko, this is the year na I really want to move out na. Pero, akala ko, ganun lang siya kadali. Hindi pala. It's really a long process kasi you have to find the right developer, the right location, the right budget na yung afford mo talaga pero happy ka dun sa unit na bibilin mo. Kasi hindi bi pero bumili ng condo dahil mahal siya, <laughs> di ba? It's a big financial decision for you to make, especially if you're a millennial. Siyempre, we've been working so hard. We wanna travel, we wanna do so many things. Siyempre, gusto natin kung saan natin invest tong pera natin to. We have to make sure na tama yung decision na yun. So, it really takes a lot of planning and researching. And pagdadasal na rin, natama ang ating decision, di ba? Actually, come to think of it, napakaswerte natin kasi yung culture natin, di ba? Hindi naman tayo yung pinapalayas na ng mga magulang natin. Kayo ba? Ganun ba kayo? But, di ba tayo mga Pinoy, tayong mga Asian. Gusto ng mga magulang natin na nasa kanila tayo. Kahit matanda na tayo. But syempre, di naman lahat tayo pare-pareho. A lot of us still want to move out at an early age para magsarili, maging independent. Actually, feeling ko late na nga yung pag-decide ko na mag-move out. But, I'm glad I made that decision. It took me two years to finally move in in this place. Kasi the first year was really looking for the perfect unit. Pumunta ako sa iba't ibang showroom. Nag-research talaga ako. I researched online, the perfect location, and yung swak rin sa budget. Ko. Okay, so when I found the perfect unit, syempre meron yung mga reservation fee, may mga down payment kang babayaran. So nag-apply din ako for a home loan sa banko namin. And it really took a while. It actually, it took a very long time bago ako ma-approve kasi hindi sila sure sa trabaho since I'm a freelancer. So matagal bago na-approve yung home loan ko. After nun, syempre marami pang mga proseso. Tapos pag tinurn over na yung unit, sabi ko ayoko muna madaliin because I really want this unit to fit my lifestyle. If I'm going to spend a lot of money for this condo, gusto ko magagamit ko talaga bawat sulok nito. So, I made sure to get a professional. I got an interior designer, um, the right contractor. So, um, hindi madali yung process kasi you have to set a lot of meetings. Pero, syempre, if you're shelling out so much money on something like this, dapat talaga tama ang decisions mo. Siguro, ang tip ko is don't rush it kasi may time na ko na sobrang excited na ako na oh my gosh, ito yung gusto ko sa condo ko. Ito yung design na gusto ko. Gusto ko na mag-move out. Gusto ko na mag-host ng mga why night. Gusto ko na mag-host ng mga parties. Nako, huwag niyo madaliin kasi kayo rin na magsisisi in the long run. So, that's really the purpose why I wanna post this video na kasi for you to really think ahead. If di nyo pa naman kailangan mag-move out now, at least meron na kayong extra time to think about it and to really research kasi mas mura ang mga condo, di ba? Pag pre-selling price siya. And may mga condo na 2, 3, or 4 years or 5 years pa before yung turnover date niyan. So, kung yari, ngayon di nyo pa naman kailangan mag-move out kasi mga bagets pa kayo kung kaya nyo pa naman to live with your parents. Okay lang yun, but tingin-tingin na rin kayo ng condo as early as now. Ako kasi nung yung nakita ko na yung perfect condo for me, ang turnover date is after 6 months. So, ang bilis, di ba? But, di ko siya minadali kasi nung binigay na sa akin yung unit, bear siya, doon na pumasok yung interior designer ko. Again, hanap kayo ng condo na pre-selling pa lang para mura pa siya kasi itong condo na binili ko, um, kailan ko to binili? Last year. Ngayon, just after a year, nagmahal na siya ng 2M. Ganun na tumaas yung value niya. So, mahal na. Kung ngayon ako bumili, napakamahal na ng unit na to, di ba? So, also, ask yourself, is a condo for me? I mean, di naman lahat ng tao gusto tumira sa condo. Ako, for a time, ayoko talaga tumira sa condo kasi sabi ko, ano yun, di ako makapagpambahay masyado. Yung bawal ko masuot yung pambahay kung butas-butas. Kasi pag bababa ko ng lobby, may kita nila yung butas-butas kong damit. <laughs> Isipin nyo rin, if a condo is something that will fit your lifestyle, yung ate ko, nauna lang siya mag-move out sa akin, pero house ang binili niya sa Laguna naman. Actually, same price ha. Yung price ng condo, 
condo ko, same price yun nung house niya, na mas malaki dito, tsaka two floors pa yung sa kanya. Pero, na-realize ko, you're really paying for the convenience, the location, di ba? And I really don't see myself living outside of Manila. Even though mas mura yung lupa, mas mura yung bahay doon. If doon ako bibili ng bahay, tapos yung trabaho, nandito pa rin sa Manila, di ba? Ako rin talo dahil sa traffic, di ba? Again, ask yourself if a condo is right for your lifestyle. Kung yung work nyo, malapit lang sa area, yun, di ba? You will really save a lot of time, money, and effort kapag malapit kayo sa pinagtatrabahuhan nyo. Okay, next naman natin. Super important itong factor na to. Location. Location, location, location. Napaka-importante yun, guys. Malaking-malaking factor yan in terms of buying your unit or renting a unit. Kasi, syempre, lalayo ka pa ba? Lalayo ka pa ba sa trabaho mo? ba? Diba? Dapat talaga malapit ka lang dun sa school or sa workplace mo para you save a lot of time. Medyo similar yan sa sinabi ko earlier but it is very important. Before you buy a condo, dapat talaga nakaset na yung mind mo sa location na gusto mo. Ako talaga sabi ko, ito yung location na gusto ko so mas nanaro yung options ko ba? Diba? Lahat ng mga properties, lahat ng mga developers na nandun sa area na yun tinignan ko kasi yun yung area na gusto ko talaga terhan. And true enough, I got a unit dun sa area na yun and it has made my life so much easier kasi tatawid na lang ako tatawid ako dun sa coffee shop or restaurant dun na kami mag-meet nung client so ang dami ko na save na time after nun kasi dati nakatira ako sa QC sa dulo ng QC so I have to take mahal-mahal nung grab dadaanan ko yung kubaw na napaka-traffic after nung kubaw yun, nawawala yung traffic pero talo pa rin ako eh yun, mas naging convenient talaga yung buhay ko and because of that mas marami ako na produce na content mas marami ako na meet na clients mas marami akong na book na projects when I moved out okay, next naman nating factor if you wanna move out if you wanna start living on your own you need to be financially stable. You need to be ready for it financially. Kasi living on your own is no joke. Siyempre, we get so excited by the idea na I want to have my own place. I want my own freedom. I want my own bed. I want to make my own rules. Di ba, meron tayong mga ganyang moments sa buhay natin. Pero isipin nyo, dapat ready kayo. Nung nagsarili na ako, doon ko na-realize na Mami, Papa, salamat po. Napakamahal ng kuryente, ng tubig, ng internet, ng bigas. Napaka-time-consuming mamalengke, magluto. Ang daming nakuha ang oras sa araw ko para lang magluto ng pagkain ko for the whole day, for the whole week. Kasi maraming pang gastos. Yung sofa, itong bed mo, yung bed frame mo, yung ilaw mo, yung tubig mo, yung shower mo. Ay, nakikita ko lahat ng mga ginasos ko. Yung TV. <laughs> Mahal talaga siya, guys. So, really think about it. If you are, if you have the means, if you are ready, then go for it. Diba? Meron pa. Oh, shit. Wait lang. Yan pa ang gusto ko sa condo living, yung security. Kasi minsan takot ako mag-receive ng mga packages or mag-meet ng mga clients na hindi ko pa nakikilala. So, if you live in a condo, you know na you are secured. Kasi syempre, part yan ang binabayaran mo. Which brings us to, yan, HOA or Homeowners Association Jews. Isa yan sa mga babayaran nyo pag nag-move out kayo, pag nagsarili na kayo, pag nasa condo na kayo. Yan yung binabayaran nyo yung mga security guard, yung maintenance, yung security, yung amenities, yun yung naglilinis ng hallway, yun yung naglilinis ng elevator. Yan, part yan ng mga binabayaran nyo. So, keep in mind na part din yan ng gasos mo if ever tumiraman kayo sa condo. Okay? Also, malaking factor pala pag magkukondo kayo. Check nyo kung pet friendly siya, kung high density ba yung building. ba diba, may mga ibang properties na grabe yung pila sa elevator or daming tao sa pool. Yun talaga yung maayoko sa condo ko. So, nag-research talaga ako na marami po ba kayong elevators or onti lang ba yung unit sa isang floor. So, yun yung mga tanungin nyo in terms of finding the right unit for you. Okay, next naman natin is ask yourself if ready na ba kayo magsarili? Ready na ba kayo to live independently? Ako kasi may face sa buhay ko na ayoko mag-isa. So, kalagi ako may kasama. Pero when I started living on my own, appreciate ko talaga yung quiet time ko in the morning. I get to answer my emails peacefully. Nag-grind ako ng sarili kong coffee beans. Suminom ako ng kape. Every sip ng coffee ko, ina-enjoy ko talaga yan. So, therapeutic siya for me na parang especially at night, kinas... Ay, may tao. Wait lang. Cut ko muna. Sorry, okay ba? Kasi may dumating na package. <laughs> Ayan. So, also, pag gabi, gustong gusto ko rin yan, pinapatay ko lang lahat ng ilaw ko, tapos dimitingin lang ako sa view na parang, oh my gosh, I can feel the independence. O, ba? <laughs> Guys, hindi naman kayo nawawala ng gana, ba? <laughs> gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo yung reality ng pag-move out, ng pagsasarili, ba? And yun talaga yung na-enjoy ko, parang the independence of, you know, cooking your own dishes. Yun pa, isa pa yun sa mga factors na gusto ko in terms of living on my own. Kasi, natuto ko magluto. Kasi, syempre, sino pa bang gagawa? Wala naman akong helper dito. So, I really have to learn how to cook. So, lahat pala, pag nagawa mo yung first dish mo, your first homemade dish, marirealize mo na, mandali lang pala magluto. 
yun, so lahat niyan matutunan mo sa nanay mo, sa tatay mo, sa YouTube. Ayan, so ang dami-daming ways for you to just really learn. And yun, na-enjoy ko talaga maglinis. Kahit nasa bahay ako, sa bahay ng parents ko, ako na yung naguhugas ng pinggan. So because now I live on my own, I became more responsible, mas naging efficient akong tao, mas naging masipag ako. So pag naguhugas ako ng mga pinggan, paglilinis ako, hindi na siya chore for me. So you know, it just goes to show na there are so many benefits and you can really learn so much from living on your own. Ah, diba? Okay, so so far yun yung mga gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. Sana wala akong nakalimutan ng mga points. Meron akong papakita sa inyong clip kasi bumisita ako sa Uptown Bonifacio. So kailangan ma-inspire kayo para makita nyo ibang options kasi syempre nakita nyo na ang kasagisado. But there are still so many units out there for you na mag-research kayo, pumunta kayo sa mga showroom. Um, it's really no harm if you go to showrooms kahit mag kayo, kahit sabihin nyo, I'll think about it. So just really take your time, mag-research kayo ng mabuti. And yeah, I wanna show you guys some clips from the tour that I did in one of the showrooms of Mega World. Isa yan sa mga notable real estate companies. So, I want to show you guys some options para naman ma-inspire kayo, di ba? Okay, so, enjoy this video. Okay, so, nandito tayo ngayon sa Uptown Showroom. As you guys can see, super laki niya. Ang ganda ng ceiling. So, I'm really excited to see kung ano yung itsura ng layouts. Kung napanood yung condo tour ko, very particular ako dyan sa layout, kung ilang square meters. So, kung gusto niya na mag-invest as early as now, tutulungan ko kayo dyan. So, hanap tayo ng agent today dito sa Mega World. Kung sino bang pwede? Okay, so let's go. First time with you. Oh, oh, first time ko. Ganda pala dito. Ang ganda naman ng outfit. Isang ikot nga. Wow. Madalas ka naman dito sa ano? Oh, actually, ang first choice ko talaga is Ford sa Uptown. So, kasi ang dito lahat ng mga ganap, di ba? Yeah, mga events. Oh, oh, dito lahat. Let me help you muna in terms of idea. This Uptown Bonifacio, it's a project of Mega World. It's 15.4 hectare township. In this township, it's very compartmentalized. So, lahat dito, lahat ng side na to are all commercial. And then, this side are all residential. Oh, wow. Yan yung layout niya. So, residential is here. Magkakasama sila lahat. And then, lahat ng offices, ng mall, ng restaurants. Dito lahat. Sa side na to. So, ito yung mall. Yung Uptown Mall. Okay. Uptown Mall is here. Uptown Mall. Pagtawid mo. Ayan. Yung Uptown Parade na. Ang ganda. You can do your events here. Okay, it's all here. Silo, Rebel. Yeah. Gapang ka lang doon. Gapang ka lang. Lapit lang. Andun lang. Okay. So dito, dito located yung St. Michael's Church. Yan siya. So you can do your mass here and also St. Gabriel Chapel is here. Yun. Tapos dito, this is what we call Uptown Transport Hub. Eto. Okay. So this is the location. This is the proposed location of the subway. Subway is a project of government. And then may isa pa. Project mismo ng sister company ni Megaworld, which is InfraCorp. So, InfraCorp na yun, siya yung gagawa ng uh, SkyTrain, which will connect uptown going to MRT Guadalupe. Yun okay. siya, di ba? Uh -huh. So, the more accessible yung location mo, the more na mas mataas yung mm -hmm. price. So, dito naman tayo sa residential, residential side. Okay. So, this is one uptown, uptown Ritz, uptown park suites, tower 1. Tower 2. Uh, may I ask, anong mas gusto mo? Ready unit or ano na, pre-selling? Mas gusto ko pre-selling sana. Pre-selling. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good then. Kasi yung value niya, mas mababa pa. Mm -hmm. And then yung uh, payment terms, uh, mas flexible. Okay. okay. Compared dun sa mga ready for occupancy, you have to cash out na a lot. Okay. Yan siya. So, this one, I can offer to you the Uptown Park Suites or the Uptown Arts. Okay. So, yung Uptown Arts, that will be turned over 2023. If ever, You're looking for one bedroom, two bedroom. Um, gusto ko lang makita yung options, kasi marami tayong mga viewers na gusto nila makita yung one bedroom, two bedroom, yon. So right now, I'll show to you mo na yung standard deliverables namin for Uptown Park Suites. Uptown Park Suites. So ano? Ito ba yung kailan yung turnover nito? This one, soon to be turnover siya. Tower one this year, tina turnover na, and then next year yung to Tower two. Okay. So we're gonna check the two bedroom model unit, 76 square meters. Whoa, okay. 76 square meters, so? Oh, the granite tiles, ganito din. Kasama na. Kasama na din. Okay, ganda. The over counter and under counter cabinets, kasama na siya. Kasama na daw to, guys. 
Pwede siya. So, 76. Ayan. Okay. Ang galing separate siya dito. Yung mm -hmm. lutoan. Yeah. Four burner cooktop kasama din siya. Okay. And then, ito, oven, mechanical ventilation, cabinets kasama na din siya. Tapos, may maids room ka pa dito. Okay. May maids quarters <laughs> tayo dito. Yeah. You can check. Okay. She has her own. Toilet and bath. Toilet and bath. Yeah. yeah. Got the bed. At meron yeah. ding. Gantong area for laundry. It's nice. Ang open ng space. I'm very particular <laughs> about the layout kasi. So, yeah. Okay na andito lahat ng bedroom, and dito yung living, and dito yung dining. And, ang very crucial, ang ah, floor to ceiling. Floor, floor to, to ceiling, ceiling windows. Yes, wow, so very maganda ang lighting. Yeah. So, may natural ventilation ka dito. Okay. So, so this is the balcony. Oh, nice. So, balcony. The good thing then, dito sa Uptown Park Suites, Mega World delivers of semi-furnished na. Okay. When we say semi-furnished, may mga kasama siya. Like, yung aircon. Mm, kasama na. Aircon. Yes. Okay. Inverter. <laughs> Yan siya. So, kung itong two-bedroom, tatlong split type kasama niya. The so, bedroom? Yeah. This is the master's. I uh, know. Smaller bedroom. Smaller bedroom. For your future kids. <laughs> <laughs> Floor to ceiling glass. Floor to ceiling. And then, yung wall, it will be delivered painted in white lang. Painted in oh, white. Oh, yan. Tapos yan, white siya lahat. So, it's up to you na if gusto mo i-upgrade kung gusto okay. mo i-upgrade. May split type air din siya kasama. And then cabinets. Kasama cabinets. na. Okay. Oh, pero I think hindi ka siya damit mo dito. <laughs> so, kailangan talaga two bedroom. Kailangan mong okay. magdagan. So, sa flooring pala, you can also see Ay, ito yung kasamang flooring? Yes. Ay, ang ganda. Ceramic lamps. And then, sa common area, ceramic lamps. Guys, ang ganda ng floor. Yeah. Kasi yung tinurn over yung kondo ko. Hindi ganto. So, kailang, pinapalitan ko pa ng ganto siya. So, oh my gosh. It's nice Gumasas to begin with. Napagasta sa O. Oh. Tapos, dito naman. As is. Ito na siya. Ang yeah. ganda. So, ang hindi lang kasama dito is yung movables. Okay. Uh, pero yung tiles, kasama na siya. Yung mirror, kasama. Kasama na. Uh, okay. So, let's go dito sa master's bedroom. Okay. Master's bedroom. Yeah. So, this is oh, the master's wow. bedroom. Ang ganda. Tapos may walk-in closet din. Okay. Rin. Kasama na pa. Hindi na pa rin kasha. Dito yung damit ko. So, so dito ka na. Tatamba ka dyan. This one is the master's toilet and bath. So, may kasama tayong dalawang sink. Dalawang sink. Wow. Oh, tapos yung mirror is very wow, good. Wow, ang ganda. And then one toilet. And then here, bathtub. May kasama ang bathtub? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, kasama na siya. So, even tiles in the wall, kasama na din. So, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta mag-hotel kasi sa oh, yung unit may bathtub. Oh. Tsaka, ang ganda na ng tiles to begin with. Yes, kasi very uh, crucial yan for me. Yeah. Pwede ka na magpalit. Oo. Oh, oh. Diba? <laughs> Ganyan siya. Kamusta naman yung size sa'yo? Okay siya sa akin. Okay naman. Malaki. 76 square uh, meters. Seven, diba? Actually, 81. Sama okay. Kasama na yung balcony. Balcony. Oo. Oh, oh. Ganda. Ang ganda ng layout niya. Very open siya. So, that is the Uptown Park Suites Tower 2. So, ang turnover niyan is Next year, 2021. That's a 21. Yung turnover niya. So, punta natin ng labas. Tingnan nyo. So, this is the uptown area, as you guys can see. Ayan yung mga dinedevelop na properties. And ito lang ang the island. Yun ang silo. Pag dito ka nakatira, eh gagapang ka na lang after mo kumarty. Pero, di ba? Parang perfect to. Perfect yung lifestyle dito. Kasi yun talaga yung pinipicture ko. Yun, coffee shop ka lang. Lakad ka. Jogging ka dito. It's the best. Di ba? Super productive. So, right now, I'm gonna head back to Casa Gisado. Okay guys, that is it. Nag-enjoy ba kayo dun sa ating walkthrough? Sana na-inspire kayo, di ba? Anyway, super na-appreciate ko yung tour na yun kasi ang ganda ng mga properties ng Mega World and yung mga townships nila, panalo, di ba? Meron sa Uptown Bonifacio and meron din tayo sa Eastwood, Arcovia, napakaraming options. So always keep in mind yung location, yung convenience, and of course, the lifestyle na perfect sa inyo. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Medyo different to from my other vlogs, pero sana na-inspire kayo and sana mas naging clear yung goal nyo for this year or for the next coming year. So again, just to wrap things up, gusto ko lang smart kayo sa financial decisions nyo, di ba? Kasi naman lahat tayo kumakayo, di ba? Eh, para saan ba tayo kumakayo? Siyempre, for our future and part of our future is having our own home, having our own place. Yan. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys follow Mega World. I'll also link some of their properties para mas marami kayong options. Also, kung may mga suggestions kayo or may mga tips kayo, please do let me know in the comment section. Not just me. Basahin nyo rin yan para tulungan tayo, di ba? So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, this is David Gisa. I will see you guys next time. Bye!